Good morning, Pastor Jay here with your Monday devotion. And today we're going to go all the way back to the third chapter of the book of Genesis. And there we read about the temptation of Adam and Eve. Listen to this. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is the, in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You shall not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God. Wow, that is actually the oldest temptation, to want to be like God. Not to let God be in charge, but to let us be in charge, that we would have the power. And that's what Timothy Keller's talking about in his book, Counterfeit Gods Today. Let me share a little passage of this with you. You may have heard of a theologian named Reinhold Niebuhr. Uh, he lived in the mid-20th century, and here's what it says. He believed all humans struggle with a sense of being dependent and powerless. The original temptation in the Garden of Eden was to resent the limits God had put on us. You shall not eat of the tree, Genesis 2.17, and to seek to be as God by taking power over our own destiny. We gave in to this temptation, and now it is part of our nature. Rather than accept our finitude and dependence on God, we desperately seek ways to assure ourselves that we will still have power over our own lives, but this is an illusion. Boy, we know that's true, don't we? We like to think, you know, if I got enough money in my 401k, uh, if I'm strong enough physically, if I'm healthy, um, if I've got gas in the car, if I've got my my home, uh, is, is I've got a place that I can stay that's sheltered. If I got food in the fridge, everything's going to be okay. But we know that in life, all things are uncertain. You never know. Think about what happened with Hurricane Ian. I mean, so many people uh, depended on their structures, on their home, and it just didn't help. It, they were just vulnerable. And we don't like that vulnerability, vulnerability, but that's what God tells us is part of life. And he asks us to trust him. He asks us to follow his way and to trust him, uh, even when things go wrong. So let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, today we remember those who are affected by Hurricane Ian. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless them with recovery and healing. But also, Lord, remind us that we are not in charge, nor are we meant to be. Lord, we need to be dependent on you. Uh, open our hearts to that. Empty our hands. Let us come before you as those who willingly uh, and gratefully want to receive what you have to give and want to follow your ways. Lord, guide us by your word. Help us to be your people this day. And Lord, help us to cope with the anxiety of not being in control of everything. Remind us of that today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. I hope you have a great week.